Hello, this is Giru, and this video will be about shield exploits, or as some people like to call them, advanced shield mechanics. Putting all the reddit drama aside, I'm just going to be showing what the mechanics are, how you can play against them, and why they aren't as imbalanced as everyone makes them out to be. Fighting a shield has always been completely filthy, but a good two-hander always has the better outcome. The three main exploits that are used in the EU is the flinch skip, the recovery skip bash, and the stagger bypass. And you can occasionally get some people who will be using the weapon switch feint as well, which is pretty disgusting, if I'm honest. Alright, so the first exploit that I'll cover is the flinch skip. When you get hit in chivalry, you get flinched and you can't attack. Shields can bypass this flinch state while tapping block in the flinch. Basically, you just have to watch for him blocking after you hit him. The only things that can outspeed the flinch skip is something like a broadsword stab combo, or something similarly as fast. That means that you can't combo backswing to outspeed the attack. So you basically have to combo feint to parry in any other situation. While this will cost you some stamina, you pretty much always have a stamina advantage over a shield, so it's hardly a problem. The flinch skip can also be feinted. While it's expensive to a stamina, this could be the death of you, so it's also just a viable tactic to run away after you land a hit. The second mechanic is a recovery skip bash. This is where the player taps block when he's in recovery after he's been parried. He does this so he can instantly kick. He can spam this if he wants to, but it's wasteful for his own stamina and it's inconsistent in stopping repasts, and it will always trade with a reverse repost. In general, it's pretty easy to just run out of the way of the bash, or you can just jump backwards. The third bug is the stagger bypass. This allows the player to completely skip the out of stamina stagger, but it's the hardest to perform as the player needs to release block as soon as his shield is hit. This can be a big problem if you don't know how to deal with it, because the shield's weakness is supposed to be stamina. Luckily, dealing with this is much easier than performing the bypass yourself. All you need to do is an extremely basic drag. This also means that you end up with two free hits instead of just one. The final can't really be considered a mechanic, as it's clearly just a flat out bug. I won't explain to you how to do this one, but the animation is pretty distinctive from an actual feint. Learning how the player uses this is the best way to deal with it. Really, all it takes is just a simple gamble when you see it start happening. When a player does this, they can't actually parry, so it's not a very valid tactic at all and can leave them without their precious shield. The other thing that I'd like to go over is the fact that a shield can pretty much always flinch you after you kick them, even on vanilla. The best way to deal with this is to either do a reverse yourself and potentially trade, depending on what weapon you're using, or you can just be wary of the gamble that may come after the kick. While we all love Stouty, and I don't really feel the need to video myself completely shitting all over him, I'm just going to demonstrate how I deal with this playstyle. Even though he manages to stagger bypass, I still have the advantage and continually pressure him. It just takes some simple drags to deal with any more of his bypass attempts. The best way to initiate a duel with the shield is to just bait an attack and then force him to combo feint to parry. It's then it's just a case of pressuring and dodging when he feints. The feint read isn't actually that important. Every time that I land a hit I'm wary of a flinch skip so I'm always ready to parry. I personally like to use the method because I'm comfortable with it, and can usually land a 3 hit to kill, but there are much better weapons at fighting shields. If I was struggling against a shield user, I'd probably take a dub axe or a grand mace and just abuse the stam drain. You can just press F if he delays after a parry. As you can see here, he tries to stagger bypass twice, but that actually meant that I got 2 free hits instead of just 1. I honestly think that shield is useless against experienced players, especially in team objective. The shield mechanics, or exploits, hardly help how fundamentally garbage it is, so it's better to just learn to play against it, rather than get shields nerfed even more. Even just the fact that the shield blocks your vision makes it easier to sidestep and harder to pull off things like the stagger bypass. I also think that comparing the three main shield exploits to other glitches, like essentially gaining speed hack from a catapult, is a bit of a dumb joke. The weapon switch feint is pretty cancer, but overall the exploits, or the mechanics, aren't really that easy to pull off. They aren't hard to deal with either, and they've been in the game for years. I'd personally consider them no less exploitative than a backswing or a drag. Next time you see or get beat by a shield player, instead of hating them for using a shield as a crutch, you can just instead pity how fundamentally useless and limited their playstyle is. It's better to just learn how to beat them, so you can shit talk them afterwards. If you thought that this video was any good, I'm pretty happy to make more about other aspects of chivalry. Just send me a message or leave a comment. <laughs> Just run into me. Oh.